Nagens navis devi, Nagens is nachen. This lelum's mangen is Nagens te. Gypsy travellers have been a legally recognised ethnic minority since 2008, but very few in the general public truly know who we are. Scottish travellers, or tinklers as we were once known, have been in Scotland since at least the 12th century, with our own oral history placing us as far back as the 9th. But the first recorded gypsy in Scotland was in 1505, when in the Book of the Treasurer to the King, James IV demanded a sum of seven pounds be paid to the Egyptians. Later in 1540, James V would proclaim the leader of these Egyptians, John Fa, the Earl of Little Egypt, a title that was to later become the King of the Gypsies. But it wasn't just the high and mighty. Since medieval times, travellers and gypsies have played a myriad of roles throughout Scotland. We were the craftspeople, the ballad singers and the pearl fishers. We also worked the land with agricultural areas such as Perthshire and Angus reliant upon our nomadic workforce. Travellers have been immortalised in art and literature, with our beloved Scottish bard Rabbi Burns even claiming that he had a gypsy muse and depicting travellers within much of his poetry and song. It's been said that the bard first heard the famous Ard Lang Syne from the mouth of a traveller. We have contributed a lot to Scotland's heritage. Who knows, the very perils on the honours of Scotland may well have passed through the skilled hands of a traveller. But despite the important role that our people have played in Scotland's story, we have often been pushed to the margins and have faced persecution. In the 1570s, despite living in Scotland for generations, our people were ordered to stop travelling or to face deportation. Punishment soon became death, and many travellers were tragically hanged for the crime of following their indigenous way of life. 1714 saw the last travellers hanged for being gypsies. Jean Bailey and Agnes MacDonald were tragically hanged at the grass market in Edinburgh, but this was far from the last example of persecution in our story. The 18th century saw a new form of punishment. Travellers from across the country were now being forcibly deported across the seas, with some records showing that travellers were even sent to slave plantations in the Caribbean and the Americas. The 19th century brought with it new ideologies of who should fit into society and who shouldn't. And in 1895, the authorities launched an inquiry into what they termed the Tinker Problem. The inquiry heard evidence from across the country and the report concluded eradication is the only cure. This statement would lead to many travellers being forced into segregation from society. Segregated schooling, designated areas termed tinker reserves, and legislation set at removing nomadic travelling people from the Scottish landscape. But by far the most tragic impact of this statement was felt by traveller children. Throughout the 20th century, many traveller children were removed from their families for no other reason than that they had been born travellers. This trauma remained with those children, but it continues to resonate with our community today. Our connections with Scotland's landscape are forgotten by society, our ancestral stopping places blocked with boulders, and our contributions to Scotland's history are omitted. But despite it all, we are a proud people, proud of our culture and our heritage. Today, many of us continue to travel Scotland's roads, shifting through places sacred to our ancestors and passing on our culture and traditions for a new generation. Other travellers live in houses or on permanent sites. But no matter where we choose to live, we speak our languages with pride and we stand up for our right to belong. This Lelum's Mangan is Nagan's Tay.